Funding for Love to Paint with Mimi was provided by Agnes Gund. Utrecht Art Supplies, celebrating 60 years. And by Kelly and Robert Day. Additional funding was provided by the following. Hi, I'm Mimi. Today we're going to do two wonderful exercises on accessing our creativity. It's going to be really fun. So let's get started. Ready, set, go. Here we go. Paint on paper. This is what creation is about. Woo, isn't that beautiful? This is the beach. Look at that green against that yellow. I mean, it just sings. We're dancing with this color. It's going across the page. I'm a shape maker. That's what artists do. They make shapes, they create color, they do all these incredible things. Oh, I love to paint. Art means different things to different people. Art can express joy and love, sadness, fear, elation, peace, so many things. And today, before we start, we're going to go visit some friends who are using art in a very powerful way. We're at the Sophia Academy in Providence, Rhode Island. And today we're going to do an incredible exercise with some extraordinary students. So let's go to the classroom. Today, I'm here because I love art. I love teaching it and I love doing it. And we have no idea what's going to come out when we do a piece of art. It could be anything. And sometimes we create from what we see outside and sometimes we create from what we see inside. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go inside and see if we get any colors or any images or any feelings that we want to put down on the paper. So I'm going to ask you all for one minute to just close your eyes and go into your heart, and I'm doing this too, and go into your our heart and just see if you get an inside image that you want to use. Maybe you won't get anything, like I'm not getting anything. So I'm going to just start and I'm going to work with color and I am getting what color I want to work with. So I want to work with, actually I'm going to use two colors, don't ask me why, but that's just what I'm getting. It doesn't have to be any particular way, but look at that. There was nothing there and that's just what I created because I just felt like using two of these oil pastels. And then I'm just thinking, what other color? Well, I feel like some red. I think I might put a red heart here, just like that. And is there any other color I want? I think I might just put some yellow. And I don't know, I don't know, maybe put a yellow sun. But you can do anything you want down here. And this, can you imagine there was nothing there a minute ago? And as I said, every single one of us creates differently. And there's no right and there's no wrong. The only thing we want to do is to have the fun of creating somehow. So I'm just going to do one more little thing here, and then I'm going to let you all go ahead and do whatever you want. You may draw something that has a figure. You know, who knows what you're going to do. But whatever it is, we're going to have fun. The reason I do art, I told you, is so I can have fun. And you can do art too when you're, sometimes you're going to be sad and you want to draw something out. You can draw it out. Sometimes I've been so angry, I take the red and I go all over the place and I make black. And then I'll go into my heart and I'll draw a whole other thing. And sometimes I just want to do it for the joy of doing it or just because it's creating. is like life to me. I can do whatever I want with art. I can draw, I can color, I can write. 
I like Hindi word because it's like another language without really writing any words. When I'm drawing, I feel like I'm the whole me, but when I got no paper in my hand, I feel like someone else. My art teacher says all the time to like, there's never no mistakes. You could make a mistake, but it's not a mistake. It's part of your artwork, and that you could draw over it or make it, something out of it. It's a nice thing to have. I keep this little notebook, and I, I always draw every day what I feel. And sometimes I do write um, after. Like, I write how I felt about that drawing or something. It makes me feel happy. Like, I like to express my feelings on it and stuff, so. Would you feel sad if you didn't do art? Yes, I you, would be miserable. You, you'd be miserable if you didn't do art. Is that important to you? Yes. I'd probably be lost because I used to do it in my notebook. But now I carry around my, do, my pad with me so I can doodle when I have extra time. I like to draw whenever I could, when I have free time. If I want to be able to draw, I would just probably cry because I feel sad. Art is like a direction. If you can do art again, that means you don't know which way to go. Thank you very much for sharing today. This was really, really great. I love all of your works of art. You really are accessing your creativity, and it's a gift that you will have for life. So thank you very much. Now let's go back to the studio. I hope you enjoyed that. Now let's get started with an exercise that is going to tap into our creativity. We're using pastels and just a regular drawing pad. And the point of the exercise is to do anything we want as if no one's watching and just to tap into our creativity. And I'm going to start drawing with my left hand. The left hand doesn't judge. It just makes marks. Okay, so I'm going to close my eyes. and make some marks on the paper. And I have no idea what I'm doing. Wow, look at that. Isn't that interesting? Okay, now I get to choose any color I want. There's no one judging me. I'm just doing this for fun and creativity. And I'm gonna take this green. And again, I'm using my left hand because the left hand never does anything perfectly anyway because I'm right-handed. The left hand is the creative side, and I'm going to do some more marks here and see what happens. Isn't this incredible making marks on paper? There was nothing here a minute ago. Now I think, do we want one more color? Am I seeing anything coming through that I might want to do a little bit more with? And I'm getting not quite yet. So I'm going to go and use, I'm going to use this other green. And let's see what happens here. Round and around, and I'm feeling, what does it feel like to make a mark on the paper? I'm not watching. And there's a whole sensual feeling to actually putting pastel on paper. And now I think I need a little dark here, so I'm going to go in with a dark. And I guess I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use this green again. And you know circles are very feminine shape, and straight lines are more masculine shape, so I want to have the combination of both. Now there's a lot going on here. So I'm going to start to pull out an image. And what I'm seeing is I am seeing a face right here. And do you see that? You can kind of see there's an eye here. I'm going to accentuate it and put an eye like that. And then I'm going to put an eye here. And then I'm going to take this going down here. And then I'm going to make a mouth. Line under there. Now yeah, that looks like a pretty happy face. And I'm going to put a little more of the eyebrow, a little eyebrow here. And now we're going to go into another figure. 
And I see another eye here, actually. Do you see that? Right there. And I'm kind of using my imagination because this is just, there's a whole universe inside us. And until you tap into it, you never know it's there. And this is a way to tap in. And I see one eye here, and I don't know, it looks like there's another head going around here. So that could be an eye behind there and going down like this. And there's another person in here looking this way. It's a whole lot of figures, and I don't really know or faces where this is going. And now I've made a little goof here. So I'm trying to figure out what am I going to do here. So I make, make the eye going that way. I'm going to bring out the nose here. And then this will be the mouth. Have another mouth. Bottom lip, we come out like this. It's just so amazing. <laughs> Creating is, you know, there was nothing here. And look at what we've got now. And it's not like there's a right or a wrong. It's just accessing that inner part. And now we have this eye behind here. And we might have just, we might be able to just see the lips here going around. And what do you think they're, what do you think they could all be looking at? We don't know. But we're just going to keep going here and maybe that more will be revealed. That's what we're looking for. More will be revealed. We have an eye here, an eye here. Oh, and this person's looking over here. I didn't know that was going to happen. So something might be going on there. We have a couple of ears. Here going here. Actually, you just turned into a woman. So we have all these figures that are coming out, which is so interesting. And you know, I think what we might have here is right here, it looks to me as if she just might be holding a child. So we'll have this going around here. We'll have her arm coming here and here. And there's her hand, and here's the child. We'll have our hair coming down here. But the point of this exercise is that everyone has this creativity inside. And what an extraordinary thing it is to be able to, on this paper, have no right and no wrong just to find out who we are. And some days I might draw something very angry. Some days it will process the anger out. Other days it will be very joyful. Other days very loving. But I get the opportunity to be who I am completely without any judgment. And nobody has to ever see these. But it's a wonderful, wonderful tool. And I see this little baby want to go in here a little bit more. And you know, I love hearts. So I'm going to start putting hearts within all of these different figures. And maybe we'll even put a heart up in the, in the forehead of this person. And we'll put one major heart up here. And they all seem, now I'm getting carried away with the hearts. But that's what I feel like putting down. So that's what I'm putting on. So let's go on to the next segment. And you'll see another way to create. There are so many ways to create, as many ways to create as there are people. And I just want you to pick up something and create because it's such a joy. And you will access things you will never possibly have imagined possible. So let's keep going here. OK, so the next exercise we're going to do is six blocks. And I just pick a favorite color here, and I'm going to make six blocks. So I go across the top like that, down, and make the outside shape. Now, six blocks is to be used when you want something to be on the paper, and you don't want to start with a blank paper. And then we go down here like this, and we go here. They're not perfect blocks at all, but they're, they're going to be six blocks, and we take this right straight across the middle. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to make some symbols. And you can use any colors you want. I just happen to feel like using red. And we don't really know what these are. We can think we know what they are, but we really don't. And then we can put symbols in that block. There are two symbols in that block. And there's a symbol in this block. And they all mean something, but I'm not going to tell you to the end. And I've done this for years, many, many mornings. Now, we can work abstractly. We can work realistically. Whatever we want to do, there are no rules in this, absolutely no rules. 
except one that I have, and that's to have fun. So we go here, and I'm going to just, I don't know, that doesn't that beautiful, look at how that works on the paper. And I'm going to make, I think I'm going to use some yellow, so we're going to go in here with yellow. And I just, for some reason, want to go down here and put yellow in here. Don't ask me why, but I just feel like it. And that's a good enough reason. And do I want to use yellow anywhere else? I do. For some reason, I want to put a yellow here. It's kind of like the one above, but at any rate, that's what I want to do. And now we're going to go back up into this one. And I think I'm going to make a little blue figure right on here. So we're going to put a little head here, and then we're going to have the shoulders, and then we're going to have a little figure going down like this, maybe a leg going out there, arms going up and up like that, and then we're going to have a head here, and a head here, and a head here. I know where I'm going with this. I make sculpture, and I made a sculpture like this, but that's what it feels like I need today. Hands going here, and here, here, here. These are all hands. We have little bodies going off here, one arm leg going out there. It's just for fun. It's all for fun. And you know when little kids paint that they have fun. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm just having fun. And their arms are that way. And then we have a little body going down here. And they're all dancing. It could be they're dancing around the world. Who knows? But I feel like we need a little yellow in here. And this is all just for fun. We're going to put some yellow here. And maybe, I don't know why, but I just feel like more yellow. Now, we're going to go into this block here, and we can do it abstract, but something's just telling me to just do, boom, a straight line across there, and watercolor for me is so fabulous because it, it's like nature obeying its own laws. I have no idea how that was going to work out like that, and this looks, I'm going to put a little line around there. And now I have a little figure. I see a little face coming through there. So let's put a little, ah, I guess a little mouth there. Look, look how that little tiny thing makes her look so happy. And I guess we'll put some hair on her here. And you know, it's funny. I feel like just making some little musical notes and don't ask me why, but I just feel like making some musical notes. She must be thinking music. Little musical notes, another one here, and I think what we want to do here is I want to, I don't know why, but I want to take her face down like that. Maybe she, actually, maybe these are her arms going up like that, but it doesn't really matter what you do as long as you do something. Now, I think I'm going to work abstractly, so just for the fun of it, I'm going to use my left hand. And I think blue is a pretty darn nice color, and I think it will be nice with this red in there. Wow, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So beautiful, that color. I didn't know I was going to do that. I just put the paint on the paper and just saw what happened. Now I'm kind of thinking rainbow. We're going to do that. And I feel like making a little bit of a rainbow. And the reason we're doing this is just to cre create, free up our creativity and to make a mark on paper because there's something so powerful about creating. And I'm working kind of abstractly on this one particular one, so I'm going back into the red and I'm going to put a line going right through there and maybe one there. Don't ask me why, I have no idea what that is there. And we've got two more blocks. Now, let's see what we want to make up here. I feel, you know what I feel like doing in that one? I'm not ready. It doesn't matter the order you do these in. But it's much easier to work when you have some kind of a mark on the paper. And now this is my one block that I don't have a mark on, but I've already experimented a little bit, so I'm just going to, for some reason, I want to make a star. You know, sometimes these are really happy, and sometimes I've done them when they're not so happy. And all kinds of stuff gets up. 
comes up and you get to process it out. You put it on the paper and sometimes it's gone. And let's see what we're going to have here. I'm looking at the color and I, again, I think maybe we'll use green. Look at this beautiful green. I just, I'm in love with color. So what am I going to do with this green? I'm going to make some little green hearts here. And maybe now I want to put red hearts in there. And so I go for the red. But every single person would do this differently. I've done these for years, and every single day it's different. And then maybe in the middle, we'll just put a little tiny circle. Don't ask me why. Maybe we'll have some stars. And you can put as much as you want down. Every, I've done this with so many people. And we're all, all do it differently. Now we're here in this last block. And what I'm getting is right now, I want to put a little moon up here. Right there's a moon. Not a full moon. There we go. And now I think I'm going to put some, I don't know, it feels like night. So why don't we just make lots of blue in the sky? And I don't want to mess up my moon. I go around it. And look, there's some wonderful little white places that are going to be left. But you see, it's as varied as I want. Now look at this watercolor. You see, it's dripping. It's doing all the things it wants to do. And I want to take the yellow, and I want to put the yellow in these little places, like they're little stars or they're planets or something, just for the fun of it. And now I think I'm kind of thinking a little bit abstractly here. And I like that red up top, so I think I'm going to make a red line here. Look at that. I like these red lines today. And maybe do this. I have no idea what that is. And then up in here, maybe I will make a red circle. And you know what's interesting about this? You see I, I'm using this circle theme. I don't know what it means. But I'm having a lot of fun with it, and I'm having fun with these lines. And so that's the kind of thing you can do, but you can do it any way that you want. It doesn't matter, but just somehow create. Now, I want to show you what these symbols actually mean. You may never want to use it this way, but if you want to, you can find out what the symbols mean. The first symbol was a little circle. And I don't know where I learned this. I learned this about 25 years ago. But I heard that the first little block means the present. This is travel, kind of like two little birds. And this is a symbol for femininity, which is pretty obvious. This is a symbol for masculinity. And this is a symbol for the home, a little like a little house. And of course, the feminine symbol is more curvier. The masculine is more straight. And this is the block for the future. So if you've got an imagination, you can fill out these blocks. It doesn't matter whether or not you know it ahead. And then you can make up a little story. Now, let's see if I can quickly make up a little story here about what's happened to me to give you an idea. This might be the people right now that are producing the show with me in the studio, there are three of them and myself, that's four of us. And we're all celebrating. that We're bringing this wonderful show to you. And we're all on the world dancing, celebrating. The sun is out. We're happy. This is the travel. And it looks like I like the water. So maybe I'm going to be traveling to a warm place. And remember, it's all fantasy imagination. It might have nothing to do with reality. But it's the fun of creating. It's fun to do this exercise with other people. And this just looks like a happy woman to me. And this is a symbol for masculinity, which is rainbows and happiness. And then this is a symbol for my home. And it seems to me that I, my home must be you know, being out under the stars. I think that's where I probably feel the most comfortable. So that's something you can go ahead. And this is the future. So the future looks pretty good. It looks like there's a big star, and there's love, and there's joy. So now you've learned two techniques to access your creativity. You can do these alone. You can throw them out. You can do them with friends and share. There are so many ways to access it. So just try doing it. 
And if you're an artist of any kind, maybe you're a musician, a block musician, maybe you are a blocked athlete, whatever it is, if you've got blocks in your life and you want to unblock, this is a fabulous way to do that. So have fun and thank you for joining me. I can't wait to see you next time. For more inspiration and to order DVDs, please visit MimiSamus.com. Funding for Love to Paint with Mimi was provided by Agnes Gund. Utrecht Art Supplies, celebrating 60 years. And by Kelly and Robert Day. Additional funding was provided by the following.